Hello from SlideNerd and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In this vid, I'm going to talk about the Java string in detail. You guys have been using strings for a long time. You have written this statement like hundreds of times and you probably never even wondered what it means or how it works. Uh, but in this vid, I'm going to show you the details behind it. Here you have hello from Weaves, the normal piece of text. This is somewhere inside the memory. You don't know where it is. But your variable text is actually pointing to this location. So you get the data in your program directly, right? So here is something you guys need to remember, you cannot modify a string. Every time you modify it, you're creating a new object. Like for example, this hello from Weaves, if you convert that to uppercase, like capitalizing every letter, or if you convert that to lowercase by changing everything to small, then no matter what you do, you're creating a new object, all right? You cannot modify the original object as it is. So there are different ways to create a string, one of them being this string S1 is hello world, and then this string S2 is new string hello world. Now you guys, Probably, if you're a beginner or maybe even an intermediate user, you're probably wondering what's the difference between these two. People probably don't know the difference. On YouTube, there is no video which tells the difference between these two. Let me go ahead and show you what's the difference. You have the JVM over here. Now, this JVM, this is Java Virtual Machine, is made up of many regions, or you can say components, two of them being this constant pool and heap. Now, don't worry about if the names sound dangerous to you. Constant pool is nothing but a place where all the constants are stored. For example, if you have string S1 is hello world, int x is 35, float f is 3.14, all these values are constants, right? So they are stored inside this constant pool and this heap is where actually objects are created. Like for example here, you have said string S2 is new string hello world. Now you use the operator new. Whenever you use new, you're actually allocating memory dynamically at runtime. So that goes inside the heap, all right? So here, as I said, S1 goes into constant pool, S2 goes inside heap. So here, you have your hello world piece of text, right? And you have S1 equals to, let's say there's another string called S3 equals to hello world. Now S3 is also going to point to the same hello world, which is there inside the constant pool. This is done for optimization. Like the compiler says, there is, before this step, the compiler says there's a hello world. Now when you say string S3 is hello world, the compiler says there's already something called hello world inside. So why should I make a new one? I should simply assign S3 to S1, right? That is S1 and S3 should point to the same hello world which is there inside the memory. But in the heap, it is not the way that works. In the heap, you have a hello world. You have S2 point into the hello world. Now when you create a new object, string S4 is new string hello world, there is going to be another object which is going to be at a different memory location and S4 is going to point to that hello world. So can you guys see the difference here? Already you created hello world once, so S3 simply pointed to the uh, existing hello world which was there. But here, every time you create the same object, but still it's gonna create a new memory location. That's why it's the heap, it's dynamically allocated. This is the difference between the first and the second statement. This is something which you guys won't find on YouTube. You can have my word on that. So let me go ahead. So as I said, string S1 is hello world, string S2 is new string S1. This is one of the ways to create a string. You can create a new string from an existing string. Now again, let me go ahead and show you something about the last step, which I probably didn't tell you guys. Let me go to NetBeans and actually demonstrate that this works. So here in NetBeans, I have an empty project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you that what I said about heap and the constant pool is true. So here you have string. Let's say string S1 equals to hello. I'm going to copy paste this. As you guys can see, there are two strings now, string S1 and S2. As you can see, the content is the same, all right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if they are equal. System dot out. Now remember, as I said, this both form a part of the constant pool, which means there is one hello object and both S1 and S2 point to that same hello object. Now, if you run this, control S, shift F6, you guys can see that it says true, right? That means both of them, S1 and S2 are pointing to the same object. But now take a look. I go and make string S3. So here I have used my second method of making an object by using a new operator to make memory inside the heap. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing over here by putting S3 and S4 over here. Control S, Shift F6. Now you guys can see it says false. This is the difference between creating strings using the constant and using the new operator. This is a vid which you won't find on YouTube or you won't find this anywhere on the forums, any page, any book. It's pretty complicated because people don't exactly understand how the JVM works. But I hope you guys understood something out of this vid. In the next vid, I'm going to go ahead further and show you the different constructors. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear from you guys. Comment and leave your thoughts. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.